Hi everyone, uh, it's Kiki Mon again. Um, I hit 300 followers just the other day and I want to thank you all very much for following me <laughs> um, and thinking that my little serial killer was worth a button push at least. Um, I'm open for whatever if you want to come talk with me, if you want to come roleplay with me, I'm down with all of that. And after talking for a while on Tumblr, if you want my Skype, you can have it. Uh, I don't bite, I promise. Um, but yes, this was a celebratory marker, so I decided to do another Q&A. Um, and, uh, so I guess we'll get on with the questions. This first one is going to take a really long time to answer, so if you don't want this whole bo boring ass history of my character, please feel free to fast forward, like, I don't know how long, just until I stop talking and move on to the next question, I guess. Um, but, um, anyway, the first question, well, the first set of questions was sent in by a bunch of anons, or one anon, you never know, I guess. Um, but they asked, uh, why did Kiki become a serial killer? <laughs> and this contains triggering content, so if you have any squeamishness about you then feel free to fast forward um anyway so in the very beginning when Kiki was little um it was just her and her mom for like ever uh, <laughs> and her mom was like I think a, the Carrie type of mom only not as bad like knock off like three bars of crazy and uh, that was her and um, she sheltered her and kept her inside and if they went outside it was always you know together and strangers were the devil and God and mama is all you need in life and that's what she was taught and the it, it all came crashing down on her 12th birthday when her mom brought a man home with her to meet Kiki. And you'll see it described in a lot of threads I do that Kiki describes him as a demon. Because that's really how she sees him. Like, she sees him as her undoing. And uh, about a week before that, her mom started acting really strangely, but she didn't think anything of it. And um, when this man was brought into the home, uh, things started happening almost immediately. Uh, Kiki was abused in several ways. She was, uh, she was forced to take drugs at points, uh, sh just on a constant basis, physical and mental abuse. A lot of nights she'd lock herself in a closet, scared for her life. She thought that they were going to murder her. Uh, they'd bang on the door and taunt her. Just all this nasty behavior for years and years and just she slowly started to break down and she become numb to it all and um until she couldn't <laughs> until she couldn't feel much of anything anymore pain became obsolete but the screaming never left and just all the noise and she wanted it all to stop but there was no real way to make it stop all the people in the town they lived in thought that they were crazy, so they thought that she was just hurting herself to get attention. And that was where the problem in line. Like, the police wanted nothing to do with it, nobody wanted anything to do with them, just all of it had gone to hell, and without any real reason. Um, so, he just, the boyfriend of the mother made her believe, the mother, that uh, Kiki had ruined her life and brainwashed her to believe that. So, one night, <laughs> sorry if I get a little graphic, but one night she, um, she brutally murdered both of them and it was all because voices had started happening inside her head and they were screaming at her to kill the source and the source well of course was the people causing it and after they were both murdered she set the house on fire 
and she felt a cleansing then just all, everything up here sort of rewired itself and it was fine and she's calm and collected and she can think again she feels like she can breathe she's reborn and with this sense of twisted justice that she can write at all the wrongs in the world and save everybody if she just keeps doing what she's doing and so she she murders all the bad people to save all the good people that's pretty much how it is you'll see it in threads she's saved various people from people stalking them and whatnot and um so that's pretty much the story in a nutshell uh, of how she became the way she is and uh, so that's it <laughs> it didn't take as long as I thought it would but um, I decided to condense it so I wouldn't ramble but there you go right on a uh, little backstory for you uh, next question what are Mun's top five favorites in music <laughs> what a twisted conversation uh, conversation with myself but whatever um, can I put corn in all five spots? <laughs> no. Um, I am very picky with my music. I guess I'm weird like that. Um, but if I had to pick five, um, corn's at the top of my list. They're the lifeblood of my music. Um, and of course I was raised right, so, uh, Metallica. Um, just not old stuff, but older bands. <laughs> I feel like an old bat. Um, yeah, right now I can't really think straight. My music is like all over the place. Just, I love Trivium. I'm really starting to get into them. Um, and it's a little late because they've been around for years. So, um, but yeah, Trivium. Uh, Boba Flex, they have the song called, um, Glad You're Dead. <laughs> it sounds bad, but that song makes me laugh so hard. Um, I like Slayer. Uh, this question's hard. But, um, yeah, so, just know I'm weird with my music. Um, if it's weird, I probably like it. Uh, or if it's old school, I really like it. Um... See, moving on. Uh, will Kiki ever have children? <laughs> uh, depends on the thread. Um, honestly. I think, <laughs> oh, the lovely Lolly at Justice. Oh, we have that in the works, by the way. Kiki will get knocked up eventually by L. I mean, they're like teenagers. It's, <laughs> it's great. But, um, yeah, that'll eventually happen. Uh, with anybody else, it's, I don't know. I'd have to talk to Munz and see if they want to plot that. I have a couple of partners that I think that, uh, their muses would work well with Kiki compatibility-wise for that kind of thing. I've always wanted her and Eddie to have a kid, but, um, so yeah, that's, We'll see where that goes, but the fact of the matter is that she's so friggin' scared that these children are gonna come out psychologically scarred or something, it just freaks her out. So the concept of having children is, for my muse, is great to me, but to her it might be a whole different story, so there's that. So yes, but maybe, I. it's unforeseen at this point in time, uh, except for with L. Anybody else? I don't know. But we'll have ingenious pretty babies in the future at some point. Um, what's Kiki's opinion of herself? That also depends on the thread and the verse. Um, main verse Kiki. She doesn't have a problem with what she does. She never... She knows she's a monster and she accepts that. But, um... In the threads with uh, with Lolly at Justice, that vision is now skewed terribly, and she's confused. And he doesn't believe she is one, and she still believes she is one. And blah 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 blah. And why she never had a problem with it before, now she does. And oh, so much angst. 
but um, in general, she's just like I'm a normal person with very disturbing hobbies. That's pretty much it. Um, how's the mun doing today? My day is great for the most part. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Um, why, <laughs> why are Mun and me so amazing? Oh. Thank you. Uh, I don't know. A lot of people would tell me that and I can't really figure out why because I'll be honest in saying I think I'm an absolute terrible person. And that's the truth. I tell people that on a daily basis that I'm absolutely awful. Like ask anybody I've talked to. But uh, thank you for thinking so kind, Anon. Thank you for making my day. Do the Mun and our Muse believe in the supernatural? Muse, yes. Mun, yes. Mun only ghosts. Muse, everything. Because <laughs> she's in a relationship with at least two vampires, maybe three. Uh, she's seen demons and all kinds of junk. Uh, I don't think she's ever met a ghost. That, no, she has. Yeah, she has. She, she has seen everything. Uh, but speaking as a mun, I have only seen ghosts. And they're creepy. Well, at least the one was. Little kid ghosts are the worst. That's all I have to say about that. Um, similarities and differences between mun and memes. Well, I'm not a serial killer. Though some people would disagree. Um, she has the moral compass of the devil? No, I'm kidding. Like a corrupted angel kind of weird shit, whatever. Um, we both have a weird sense of humor. Like I think decapitations are funny. She thinks they're gut busting funny. I just think they're funny. Um, only on movies. Uh, there's not a whole lot of similarities between us. Maybe our sense of right and wrong, but I'm not an extremist. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, just it's why it's fun writing her because she's so challenging at times. We have a, the same sense of friendship. Like, uh, she loves her friends. I love my friends. I would probably kill for my friends, but, um, I wouldn't just kill anybody. <laughs> uh, but she would. If they were, if they were hurting them, she wouldn't be like, Hey, what's your name? Nice to meet you. There would be no introduction. There would be no getting to know this person and trying to fix the problem without violence because that's what I would do. Her head exploding. Um, differences? The whole universe wide of differences between her and I. I was not psychologically and, and, and physically tortured as a child unless you count holding my brother's hand when we did something bad but uh, that's that's about the end of that. Like, I really, I need to make a list. <laughs> so maybe I'll do that one of these days. Be an interesting project. But thank you, all you kind anons or anon or whatever. Thank you for the question. Moving on. These next set of questions come from Bittersweet Coco Addict, uh, my Jinxie. Um, first, it. Eh, you know what, before I get into this, I have to say, holy crap, if you're a Death Note fan, or just a fan of good writing in general, go follow this blog. Like, I'll put a link 
down here. All the links down here. Those are my favorite blocks. And, um, just, they are amazing and they don't so much for me since I've started talking to them. Like, my goodness. We're gonna be real good friends. Um, I love you. Anyway, uh, on to the questions before I get real weird. Uh, what are some of Kiki's habits? You mean other than murderous intentions? Uh, she has the habit of being a sarcastic bitch to like everyone she meets if they're shitty to her first. Um, she messes with her hair in some verses. Uh, she purses her lips a lot. Uh, flexes her fingers. Um, there's not a whole lot of nervous tics she has, uh, depending on your definition of habits. Um, if you're talking about just personal habits, like she has, she keeps her uh, kit on her at all times. It's a scalpel, a uh, syringe of M99, a uh, hunting knife in her boot. <laughs> I mean, just she takes some crazy ass precautions before she leaves the house for most people it's, it's hair maybe some makeup we showered before that put clothes on we leave for the day her I gotta wear an arsenal an animal tranquilizer that's a thing I have to do that for my own personal safety and everyone else's um but other than that she really doesn't have any real habits? Um, let's see. Next question. Why did you, the Mun, decide that a serial killer was the best option for you? Was it because you wanted a dark theme, or was it because of personal interest in seeing a female serial killer? Yes. Yes. Actually, the original intent was to just make her a human. But, uh, um, I'm such a horror whore <laughs> that, uh, I wanted to make something horror related, but I didn't want to make her supernatural, because how easy would that be? I wanted someone vulnerable who could die, but was still a badass. Uh, and trust me, she has her limits. She can break. She's broken before. Um, so there was that. I didn't, I didn't want to make it too easy on myself. <laughs> So I'm like, you know what, um, I really, really enjoy horror, so why don't I make a serial killer? But how about a serial killer who knows what empathy is? What, what, what? Wouldn't that be scary? So that's what I did, and she was actually, um, lingering in the back of my mind for a while. She had a different backstory, uh, her, her outer shell is from an old Nightmare on Elm Street roleplay I did. And, uh, I needed an evil counterpart to my character. She had schizophrenia or whatever. Uh, just a different personality that just... <sighs> but she was a lot crazier. Um, I actually brought that verse back. Uh, Voices Kiki is the product of that. And I think so many people are afraid to roleplay with that verse because of that. She's fucking scary. Um... But Mankey is very watered down. Very, very, very watered down. Like 1% of that crazy. While Voices is like 99. Um, but anyway, uh, that was pretty much it. That was the reason why I did it. Um, I don't really have any other reason other than that muse. Or the shell of that muse has been bothering me for old, before I made the vlog. So I'm like, why not? Hey. And I'm so happy that my first role play with, um, they are now active on Only Given, a uh, Little Spark of Madness. I think that's the URL. I'll link it down here. Um, but they're a sweetheart and you should go follow them. Uh, but yeah, I'm so glad that my first role play with her, um, Freddy Muse that is now deacted, uh, went so well. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here to bug everybody. But yeah, so there's that. Um, hope that answers your question. If not, you can always ask me on Skype again. 
next question. What inspired you to make Kiki? I think I answered that pretty well in the last question. Uh, next one. Um, how come you and your muses? <laughs> God damn it, you guys. How come you and your muses are so perfect? We're not. <laughs> Thank you, Jinx. I love you. Um, no, seriously, thank you for thinking so. I'm gonna cry again. I don't need to cry again today. Damn it! Uh, moving on. Again, go follow her. Well, him. Him. My bad. Ah. Um,. American Mary Mason is the next person who asked a question. You, 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 you and I need to roleplay more. I love your Mary. Um, and Kiki and her need to go on adventures together. Yes. Um, why do you think a lot of people prefer to write with other canon characters rather than OCs? Which is really shitty because there are a ton of great OCs. my personal opinion they want their character to interact with that great being and when they find someone that plays them well or at least their opinion of well they want to cling to that because they they want to live out that that fantasy through their muse of my opinion it's not really a fantasy i'm sorry that sounded so terrible but they want them to interact it's like it, it, we do it all the time we really do because we're like what if what if, like, Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean met, like, Captain Jack Harkness? Wouldn't that be so cool? And a lot of people, I think, are intimidated by OCs because a lot of, most of the time, a lot of background work is put into them and they don't know how to react to any of it. That's just... <laughs> That's just my opinion though. N don't hold it against me. I'm scared of these kinds of questions because I always get so, I feel I always get so shitty. And it's not that I'm being shitty, it's the fact that I'm being, I'm trying to be real about it and make my opinion known that a lot of people I think are, are afraid of OCs or just really don't like them because there's no setting to put themselves in there with them. That I'll roleplay with any OC. Hell yeah, I'm down. I know a lot of freaking great OCs. Um, like, uh, <laughs> uh, Friendly Killer Irving, uh, uh, only a little, given a little spark of madness is a uh, serial killer. Holy crap. If she ever gets back to him, I'll be happy. Um, uh, Cherry Finola Hobbs, uh, just, mm, again, I should make a list of these people and some of them I don't role play with I just see them on my dash and be like ah oh, their writing's great but I'm a chicken shit so yeah a lot, a lot of great OCs and people should really give OCs a chance just they really should and if I see a great OC I'll follow them and I just I'm too chicken shit to role play with them but um anyway Thank you for the question. Everybody go follow her. Like I said, the URL is American Mary Mason. It's all one word. Just go it. If you like horror or if you like badass chicks, go. Um, next question. Well, set of questions is from Torn Butterflies. My beautiful, beautiful bae, Manda, who role plays the most amazing Alice on the face of the planet. Um, I miss you so much. I really, really, really want to start role-playing again when you have time. I hope you get a new computer soon. Everybody also go follow her. Torn Butterfly. All one word. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, here are the questions. If you had a million dollars, how would you spend it? I would come and visit every last one of you that would have me in your home or outside in a public place because meeting a stranger well not really a stranger but you know what I mean 
and your home is dangerous, you should never do it. But um, I come visit all of you. And then with the money I had left, I buy a house and a Norwegian forest cat and go see every corn concert for a freaking year. Yeah. Oh, and fund my wedding. If that can be done on a million dollars, I don't know. But I can sure as fuck try. Thank you for asking. Um, how often does Kiki straighten her hair? <laughs> it's almost naturally stick straight. But it's got like this little bounce at the end. So she has to do that like every morning. So yeah. Every morning. <laughs> um, let's see. Do you prefer top or front loading dishwashers? I don't think I've ever owned a top loading dishwasher. Mine have always been like the flip out kind. Like the one we have down in our kitchen right now. They're top loading dishwashers. Or maybe I'm just fucked tarted. That's probably it. That is probably it. I'm fucked hearted. Um, <laughs> I love you and your weird little questions. Even after all the times Alice has pushed Kiki away, they always find their way back to each other. Why do you think that is, and why does Kiki think that is? Why do, why, why do I think it is? I think it's because they can't, they really legitimately cannot live without each other. Alice can fool herself all she wants, but in the end, she always ends up finding her way back to her or the other way around, but she always takes Kiki back, like, no matter what, even if it is with a fuss. She's always like, all right, fine, you can come back in. I'll just pretend to not like you for two weeks. But yeah, so that's why I think it is. Why Kiki thinks it is? Fuck if she knows. She's just like, hey, I think I missed that bitch. I should go find her. And then she does. And that's, that's really it. all it is. Does she love her? Yes. Will she ever say it? No. Because that ends in stabbing most of the time. Or really, really awkward, intimate moments that are just made violent. <laughs> Such a fucked up relationship, but I enjoy it completely. The only ever kind of gay she'll ever be. Um, what's your favorite kind of Mexican food? Taco Bell. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's not real Mexican food. I love a good taco salad, especially in the big ass tortilla bowl. I enjoy a good enchilada. Um, a really, really good shredded beef burrito with, like, cheese on top of it. It's how great. Ah. I'm gonna go get fake Mexican food after this. Taco Bell's in order. But, anyway, uh, that's the conclusion of the questions. Uh, thank you all for sending them in. It has been great to hear. Aside from a few speed bumps. But I managed to get over a lot of crap, and I'm still here, and I'll continue to be here for every single one of you that need me. Anytime you need me. I don't sleep. My bed is worthless to me. <laughs> but, uh, seriously, even if I am asleep, you can always buzz my phone if you have my Skype. Or you can leave me a really long, long, long Tumblr message. I don't care you ever need to talk I don't care if we don't even know each other I will go to you and ask you if you are okay or you can come to me and ask me if I'm not trying to be weird I just I'm concerned even if I don't know you that makes me weird I guess but anybody can talk to me at all it doesn't matter who you are I'm here <laughs> promise so if we're mutual, or if you're just following me and I haven't found out how much of a badass you are yet, make me aware. Come talk to me. Plot. We'll plot. We'll be friends. Um, thank you for allowing me to hit 300 with my little psychopath that I didn't think we'd get past, like, two. It's been great, and I love every single one of you. 
So with that, I conclude this, and thanks for sending questions in. Uh, the recommendation list will be below. Um, and uh, any closing statement I may have. Bye.